Hey there guys, Andrew Baxter here and happy new financial year. You know, it's always great as we get to the end of the previous year to review the portfolio performances that we've had and to really regroup and focus on the strategies that we're going to be using for the upcoming year and see what we can do to generate the returns we're seeking from our portfolios. And I thought I'd just share with you a couple of things uh, in terms of how to really consider options trading in a different light. You see, most people that learn how to trade options that don't learn from an options specialist like myself and my team are really playing the game in the same way that a stock trader does. In other words, they're playing the game in two dimensions, yet the actual game itself is played in three dimensions. So straight off the bat, they're dealing with a very severe competitive disadvantage and that's why most people uh, lose money trading options because they're not simply using the right sort of skills in the right sort of way. Let me show you what I mean by that. Typically as a stock trader or indeed as a futures or currency trader, we rely on being able to pick the direction that the instrument is going to move in in order to profit. It's a directional strategy. In fact, you could even say it's red or black because you could be absolutely right or absolutely wrong. The odds are really 50-50. If you've got a good trading strategy, perhaps you can enhance those odds to maybe 60-40, but either way, they're not great odds. Now, typical strategies that we see in what we consider to be directional type trading might be, for example, buying a call or buying a put. We're banking on the direction to go up or down depending on which one we're trading here. Alternatively, if you're trading spreads, and these could be a credit or a debit spread. Let's put those in the spreads family. You still rely on being able to pick the direction correctly. If you buy a call option and the price falls, you lose the money that you paid for the call. If you're trading something like a ball put spread and the market moves against you, you're out of pocket. Market move against you, again, we're talking about directional. So directional is 50-50, red or black, up or down. So what can we do to improve our odds of success? Well, in the first instance is basing this foundation decision not on something that's 50-50, but perhaps something that is irrefutable fact. Here's the thing, I can guarantee this, and guarantee is an interesting word when you see it used in a financial markets context. But one thing we can guarantee is that time passes by. Every second of every minute of every hour of every day, time is passing by. And by using strategies that look to exploit time decay, you're basing the outcome of your trade, the potential profitability of that trade, on something that is an irrefutable fact. So things like covered calls, covered calls, or what we call our V8 strategy, uh, core diagonals, to give them their jargon term. Let's just call that V8 because that's what we refer to it here as. A ways of exploiting that time decay. In other words, we know that time is going to pass by by selling that option. We're selling somebody an ice cube which is going to melt and that happening we keep the premium, the stock, etc. And you know the drill if you know about options. And by the way, if you don't, just opt in on our website and there's a whole ton of free resources that you can access in order to learn more about that. The key thing here, we're basing our decision on a hard fact, and that is the fact that time will pass by. Now that's not 50-50, that is guaranteed. So you can see that we're adding a different dimension. We're not just simply looking to take a punt up or down, we're using time to work with us. Now equally, and this is the point I really wanted to get to when we consider types of options trading, what about volatility? Now, being able to trade volatility is a critical component, the third dimension, if you will, of successful options trading. And some of the strategies that we use to operate in here that benefit from uh, moves in volatility include things like the butterfly strategy. And there's a whole raft of information uh, that you can get and free education on butterfly strategies by reading through these articles and opting in. Equally, the iron condor. Now, these have all got fanciful names, but what they're looking to do is one simple thing, and that's to exploit a move in volatility of the price. Now, if we take the butterfly as my example here, there are elements of uncertainty in markets, and a share price could move very aggressively in a way that we didn't expect. A company could make a, an unexpected announcement, a downgrade. Take QBE or Newcrest as two examples of that in the Australian market, where an announcement came out and the share price literally was just decimated. There are those unscheduled announcements, they're hard to trade. 
But what sort of announcements can we trade with a level of predictability? Simple. And that is when companies announce their earnings. Now, in the US, that happens four times a year. So we get four cracks at this every year during earnings season. Now, when a company announces earnings, the earnings could be great or they could be bad, but the volatility in the share price will reflect that in terms of the volatility will change. If the share price radically moves, that's an increase in volatility in response to the news. Now, the way a butterfly traditionally works, if you look at the payoff diagram, is along these lines. So there are several legs. In fact, there are three legs in the butterfly. And as I say, there's a whole bunch of education on this that you can opt into, and it's free. What we're looking to do is benefit from a movement, not in the share price, but the volatility, either up or down, uh, that will enable us to profit using this strategy. Now, odds are, well, ask yourself this, whether you're an economist or not, doesn't matter. If a company makes an earnings announcement, the chances are if the earnings are good, the share price can move up. If the earnings are down, then there's a good chance the share price is going to move down. In other words, there's volatility. And that is precisely what we're looking to do. Now, next week, Alcoa starts off the earnings season in the US. It's timetabled in, it's in the diary, and we will be running our AIE butterfly strategies to help our clients profit from those opportunities. Doesn't matter if the share price goes up or down, we're only looking to trade volatility here, okay? An important part of your overall portfolio is learning how to profit from those special situations. So my suggestion to you is add this strategy. You've probably never used it before. If you have, then you're already familiar with the benefits of all of this, but look to add this to your arsenal. Not every trade you take, just for the earnings season. So there's a part of the year we're gonna use this rather than all the way through the year. And look to take all of the trades that come out on our butterfly advisory service. Why? Because if you take all of the trades, you've got diversification, you've got no concentration risk, you've got a better chance of being a smoother and more profitable equity curve. This is where butterflies fit in. They're based on a level of certainty because you and I both know, common sense wise, if the share price starts moving around on the back of earnings, Volatility is going to change, and this is the strategy that will profit from it. Interesting concept? No, it's not a concept. It is the reality. And better yet, it's available to you through us here at AIE. If you want more information on that, feel free to opt in. But start thinking about options trading in this way. Do you want to be someone that just trades the market based on a punt? I sincerely hope not. Red or black isn't the way to make serious money. Working off elements of certainty, such as time and or volatility, will help you work with us in a way that's playing the game in 3D, not 2D. That means more profit, more risk management, and most importantly, a lot more success. We look forward to being your coaching guide on that. Click through, register for the training, and we look forward to being your coach guide and mentor, and hopefully help you make some nice profits through the earnings season using the butterfly strategy.